And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Fortress Craft Evolved. Working on getting our base automated. Uh, early, early base is uh, a little tough. Uh, you don't have as many resources. It's slow goings as far as automation. But as long as you make strides, as long as you make progress, everything is good. So, we want to actually start mining lithium. Um, so, as such, we're going to need another storage hopper, which we have the iron for now, finally. So, we're going to grab another storage yeah. hopper. And let's see. Um, yeah, I think a storage hopper will be fine. And this has how much left in it? Oh, it's got a little bit left. So... We're going to run down to where lithium is. Do I have a battery? I do have a battery. Okay. We're going to run down to where lithium is and see if we can't plop down. Plop down something. Because I'm going to I'm going to grab the other the other iron that's in here while I'm passing through. We are... I need a light down here. Otherwise, I'm gonna... I'm gonna die a horrible death. If I fall down that stair. Same with this one. Although I do have a light down here. I'll put another one down. Just in case. Uh, so let's see what size this lithium vein is. Uh, four million. That's pretty good. Uh, early game, that's pretty good. That might even last us the whole game. I don't know. So, there is the... There is the... The thing. See, we're at minus 125. We are pretty deep. So, I'm going to add a power to this. And let's see. I think we're pretty good on that. And it's just a matter of trying to find, trying to find a good place for a mine shaft, because we've got iron right here, we've got lithium really close by. So yeah, iron is right here. Got lithium right down there. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. <gasps> yeah, I still one of my one of my my nose has been disagreeing with me today. I don't know what it is, but uh, let's see. We have iron. We st we need to continue going deeper. We need to st continue progressing down deeper to scan other ores, to get some scanning done, and to unlock some researches. So let's jump down here where lithium is. And I'm going to grab the first lithium that we've got and then see if we can't maybe continue exploring deeper. Uh, I think, let me scan this lithium one more time. Yeah, we're not going to run into any problems down here. So I'm going to middle mouse click that light and then we can start digging down now if you don't have the care package you'd be very careful with this because as you enter the cold caves your suit power will increase very dramatically and you won't last very long in the cold caves so get down there scan what you can scan as much as you can and uh, then get back up to research the suit heater. And that's the that's the way you get past. Is that another lithium vein? Uh, let's see how big this one is. Not as big as the other one. Unfortunately, we have to skirt around it. So I'm going to middle mouse click that. Put one there to show us, hey, there's a... There's something dangerous right there. And we're going to continue going down. 
Now the the rock will change as you get closer to the cold caves the rock will change uh, So be very wary and you'll you'll notice Let's see where it's about minus 200 I think Is that ore? That is, that's tin. Okay, now we need to go this way. And that ends right about there, okay. Because we need to get down deeper, and the only way to do that is to really explore, find a path, and stick to it. There's the the rock changed right there That is an indication that we are getting closer And the sound even even kind of gets quieter And the blue hue is also the telltale giveaway. This blue hue, very cold caves. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze again. Yeah, I wish I knew what triggered my nose. Sorry about that. I just do not know. It's like the air is dry enough where my nose just got wrecked overnight. There it is. Okay, we need to take those two away. And light up the cold caves a little bit here. Now, if you are not running the care package try to scan as much as you possibly can as fast as you can uh, especially this crystal and I think that's scanned because I already picked it up but with that I want to make sure that is very visible okay so there is some crystal there I've already scanned. Um, all these little plants and everything you can scan. Uh, there's another one. Um, there's another one. Just trying to get some RP here. Okay. Well, I think we are good. This will unlock some researches. Looks like we've got a few pretty good. That's a good sized crystal vein right there. Oh, snap. I fell. Okay, let's get out of this. That's a. Uh, deep dark hole that goes way way down uh, scan that and there's something there but I don't see it it says there is something there okay don't venture too far because you get lost down here and wind up dying of hypothermia because even with the care package, this is using a lot of power to keep me warm down here. Because it's very, very cold. Very, very, very cold. Looks like there's some light over here. Oh, that's just a glow stick. Okay, let's head back. Now that we've come down here, we should have unlocked uh, some research. Okay, let's get out of here.
Also, don't be surprised if your if your grappling hook doesn't like to work in the cold caves. I have the care package gives me the improved grappling hook which allows me to kind of do this process a little bit faster. Oh, we were way down there, weren't we? All right. Come back, grab any ore, replace the power. Ooh, I should have grabbed the lithium. Oh, why didn't I grab the lithium? I'm gonna go grab the lithium. Ow. Okay. And right up this way. All right, we have a lot of ore that we need to get smelted. But, now that we have some lithium, we'll really be able to figure out and do a lot of different things. Oh, I hate when they overlap like that. Oh. There we go. Okay. No bar smelted in last minute. Okay, well, we're gonna, we're gonna remedy that. We're gonna kickstart some lithium here. So... Lithium. I got lots of iron on me. Lithium. I'm going to go into the hopper. Here we go. I'm going to need to find some more organic rock, too. What's our threat level at? Oh, 13. You don't get attacked till you hit 100. It goes up to 20,000. So... Oh, I just picked up all the lithium. Two lithium bars. All right, now we got a bunch of scans that we can finish. Deep stone. This is probably cold cavern stone. Chilled cavern, sorry. And what is this? 20, oh, that's probably crystal. Yep. Now these should be just your basic flora and fauna there but every little rp helps and that unlocks cold research which you need to do before you before you venture back down there so we really need to get a research system going and to do that i want first to build a coal enricher uh we're going to need laboratory components we're going to need research assemblers we're going to need copper housings uh, we're going to need lightweight, probably lightweight machine housings, servo motors, and iron gears eventually. We're going to need a macerator, spider bot base, blaster, spider bot core charger, and we're going to have an induction charger, and those. Tons and tons of stuff. We're going to need Mark 1 and Mark 2 power cores. And teleporter network. I can't wait. Can't wait to get this going. This is a mod. And I can't wait to do it. I also want a garbage thief. An ore thief. Auto organic thief. Definitely want that. Heist. Uh, yeah. And I think that's good. Spent a lot of RP doing all of that. Uh, not sure where my, my Mark II X-Rater unlocks, but I know we need the blue laser to do it, so we're kind of... We don't really have the, the space or the ability to yet... Uh, let's see. You can get rid of the missions up on top. Just hit enter and then slash missions. And that will get rid of those. So, 
That'll get rid of those missions for you. If you want. If you're a new player, I don't recommend doing that. Because those things are very helpful in guiding you in what to do next. Okay, now that we've got some lithium, let's move it down. Get there, and then give Arthur some attention here. So, I've got his Lovely. solar power. I'm going to grab his core and his battery, and then I can merge all three of those into one. Nothing. And then move them back over. So now he charges much, much faster in the sunlight, which is what we're going for here. All right. I could also give him a charging station if I wanted to, uh, which allows him to charge anywhere. But for now, I'm going to forego that. And the GPS tool, can we build it? We can. We have exactly the same. We have exactly the amount. I'm going to grab the rest of those. The GPS tool, watch up up here on the side of the screen. You can see it's just the depth right now. So it's just how high you are in the world. Once you build the GPS tool, Nothing. you actually have XYZ coordinates, which is nice. Uh, and I don't think... He's updated it to fit into that. Oh, he does. Awesome. He did update it. Awesome. So, yeah, now we've got coordinates. So now when I'm down, like, by iron or lithium, I can see the exact coordinates I'm on and then go up here and figure out where on the surface they are. And that really, really helps plan uh, how you're going to man maneuver around and get materials up to the surface. So that is something that has become essential to me in my playthroughs, is that GPS mod. It's so nice. So we're going to throw in some iron. How much lithium do we have left after that? Only 22. And we're going to need quite a bit. So yeah, we need to start research somehow and I would really like let's go check let's go check the slime attack really quick I'm probably getting a lot of slimes dropping down here I'm gonna try to cover this up like that can I craft uh, windows I can craft a window, Nothing. which uses the planks. I've got lots of planks, 12,000 planks on me. Uh, where'd the window go? There it is. Because the lasers can shoot through a window. That'll allow the slimes from getting caught. All right, let's go see how our slime tractor is doing. It is going gangbusters. Look at the slimes. All right. So let's see. All right, we've got pr pristine phosphorescent glands, pristine faceted eyes. We are good. Uh, I'm not sure what the Colin Richard needs. Let me go check that recipe real quick. It might need four. It might need two. Colin Richard only needs two. Okay, so we've got... We've got enough uh, pristine glands to at least get some enriched coal going. We've got the organic rocks. We could make two of these. Uh, what we need is a charge PCB and a macerator, which is why I made the macerator, or why I unlocked it. Uh, so if we go to here, you can see the macerator is not a cheap, not a cheap one. Uh, we're gonna need some copper wire, and the rest of these we can actually craft by hand. Uh, so uh, let's get. Where was coal and richer? So I need five charged PCBs, which are lithium based. So these right here, this is my PCB assembler. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do to, to help me along here is I'm gonna craft a couple bigger hoppers and use those instead of the small, oops, instead of the smaller ones. That way, I can just like throw 10 in. So, Shift T 
throws 10 in. Control T throws 1 in. And then T, just T, throws in 100 if you have them. So I'll throw 10 in there. And what else do we need for a macerator? We're going to need some tin plates. Uh, and that's about, we're going to need a copper wire. So that's going to be, that's going to be a problem. I just need a bunch of hoppers. Uh, how is this doing? Ooh, getting, getting close to being out there. There we go. There's my fire of charge PCBs. Oh, I've got those, and I, now I just need a macerator. The macerator, again, is 59 gears, which we can do. Uh, how many servo motors? Just one servo motor. See, the lightweight machine housing takes tin plates. I don't really have any tin plates. So let's uh, throw some tin in there. So I need six, so I'm going to throw one more, so that'll be an even four. That'll help me out with that. Uh, and the copper wire, I can spit from this, rotate this around, throw one copper in there. That should dump it right into here. Bingo. like so. Throw me some tin. And that should give me enough for a lightweight machine housing. Uh, one more. Yep. This is the last one. Lightweight machine housing. Macerator. Hole enricher. All right. We have a coal enricher. And that's what she looks like. Feed it coal in one end. Enriched coal comes out the other end. And uh, doubles the amount of power generated by your power pyrothermic generators. Beautiful system. Now we're getting some... Now we're getting some material. I need to kickstart uh, tin and, and copper again. But we're going to need so much iron uh, for hoppers and stuff that I want to make sure we've got plenty in backlog before I kickstart these mines again. Because this is an endless amount of, of copper and tin. So I really need to make sure we are mining or we are smelting what we're grabbing. All right, well, that will do it for this episode. And I thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.